Just over two weeks ago, I informed you of the many successes that the Royal St. Jude Police Force has had in addressing our crime problem within the Northern Division. These successes included our attempts to prevent murder in the Denry Valley area. Despite our actions, which involved the execution of search warrants, the detention of persons, the arrest, charging and presenting before the law courts, one of the suspects for illegal firearm possession, and the issuing of official police warnings to those known to be involved, the organized criminal group kidnapped, assaulted, and harmed a citizen of the said community. Our diligent and competent middle crime unit is actively investigating this matter. Our country is fast becoming a dangerous neighborhood. Let us not allow our situation to worsen. I encourage you to do the right things every time to make our communities safe and secure. Safety and security will not be achieved by chance. It will be accomplished by deliberate and direct actions against those who threaten the safety and security of our communities, our property, and our children. The actions of his attackers and those who organized the attack remind us that despite normal attempts to prevent and control crime, there are those out there who wish to operate above the law. None of us are above the law. It does not matter who you are. You will be sought after, stopped, engaged, apprehended, and prosecuted for your wrongdoing. It is time for this heightened level of criminality to, to be brought under control, if not stopped altogether. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force will exhaust all lawful means to stop you. Since my last account to you, our work within the Northern Division has continued. Police operations in Grozili, Babono, Mabuye Valley, and Denry have resulted in the execution of eight search warrants, four maintenance warrants, the issuing of 51 tickets for traffic violations, the impounding of seven motor vehicles and four motorcycles for violations of the traffic laws, the seizure of four firearms, including an air rifle and 25 rounds of ammunition, and the arrest of 19 suspects and named offenders for offenses against persons and property and the illegal possession of drugs, firearms and ammunition. Twelve persons have been charged for the above-mentioned offenses. These results were achieved with the positive direction and support from the Commissioner of Police and the two Deputy Commissioners. The efforts of the middle and lower level managers and supervisors who understand and have the know-how to lead and execute the forces, plans and policies. The commitment of the men and women who leave their homes and families daily to diligently execute the RSLPF mission notwithstanding the challenges. And importantly, you, the public, including all stakeholders who understand that we must all play our part in preventing, disrupting, detecting and reducing crime. It all redounds to credible, verifiable information to the police on one hand and on the other presenting yourself as truthful witnesses in court. To all of you, I say thank you. Let us continue to work hard to achieve security for our homeland, St. Lucia. Thank you.